Hey guys, today we gonna talk about address resolution protocol or ARP. What is it and what is used for? It's simply used for mapping a layer 2 address to the layer 3 address. What does that mean? We all know that if we want to talk on a local area network, then we need the MAC to address that particular device. So, how do we get it? The answer is ARP. Let's take an example. You have four devices on your local area network, computer A, computer B, computer C, computer D, computer A want to talk about computer C and computer A have a computer C IP address but it doesn't have its MAC address. So, ARP send a broadcast and when computer B and D receive the packet, they simply drop the packet because it doesn't mean to them and when computer C receive the packet, accept it and reply back to computer A with its MAC address. And computer A store the MAC address in something called ARP cache. It contains the IP address of the computer, physical address of the computer and type meaning whether it assigned manually or automatically. Let now move on to something called inverse ARP. It's just the opposite of ARP. It's used to map layer 3 address or IP address to layer 2 address to MAC address. Inverse ARP mainly used in frame relay and ATM networks. Because ARP does not provide methods for authenticating ARP replies on the network, ARP replies can come from systems other than the one with the required layer 2 address. An ARP proxy is a system that answers the ARP request on behalf of another system for which it will forward traffic. In ARP spoofing the answering system, or spoofer replies to a request for another system's address with the aim of intercepting data bound for that system. A malicious user may use ARP spoofing to perform a man-in-the-middle or a denial-of-service attack on other users on the network. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.